When most people imagine preparing for disaster, they picture bunkers, concrete walls, steel doors, and enough canned beans to survive the apocalypse twice over. But here's the truth. Most bunkers were bad ideas, expensive, suffocating, and in more than a few cases, deadly. Because while the world obsessed over concrete fortresses, a far simpler, far smarter survival tool quietly outperformed them all. It wasn't invented by the military or dreamed up by engineers. It was discovered by ordinary people, using nothing more than common sense and an understanding of the ground beneath their feet. Let's talk about the Earth Arch Shelter, a forgotten masterpiece of survival design that might just save millions in the next crisis. In the years after World War II, fear became a global language. The Atomic Age didn't just divide nations, it seeped into kitchens, classrooms, and backyards. Governments pushed fallout shelters, schools taught kids to hide under desks. People were told the only path to safety was going underground, literally. But here was the problem. Building a proper bunker wasn't cheap. And even when people managed it, the results were often sad little concrete coffins. Too hot, too sealed, too dangerous to stay in for long. So ordinary people started thinking differently. And what they came up with worked far better than anything the official manuals ever offered. The Earth Art Shelter was born from a simple observation. The ground itself protects better than concrete. So builders stopped trying to fight nature and started working with it. They shaped a shallow arch, sometimes out of timber, sometimes out of bent pipe, sometimes out of nothing more than stacked sandbags. Then they covered it with the most abundant material on Earth, soil. Not much, just a few feet. But here's the wild part. Tests showed that compacted Earth could block more heat and radiation than many official nuclear shelters. Why? Because dirt doesn't crack, it doesn't warp. It doesn't store heat like concrete. It absorbs, it buffers, it blends into the environment, and it keeps the temperature steady like a natural refrigerator. That simple curved shape combined with the thermal mass of soil created a structure that was cheap, stable, quiet, and incredibly protective. In the 1960s, the Nevada test site proved something remarkable. Partially buried structures survived nuclear test conditions better than many reinforced government shelters. Just 30 inches of compacted earth blocked nearly 90% of dangerous gamma radiation, and the art shape spread out blast pressure instead of absorbing it head on. Even better, these shelters breathed. With a low vent and a high vent, air flowed naturally through the structure. No electricity, no fans, no overheating. Where concrete bunkers became damp, moldy, dead air traps, earth arch shelters stayed cool, dry, and breathable. Nature was doing the engineering. And here's what's fascinating. This design didn't die with the Cold War. Preppers still use it. Off-grid communities rely on it. Eco-builders have revived it. Even modern architects use earth-bermed arches for sustainable homes that regulate their own temperature without a single watt of electricity. Dig into a slope, build an arch from wood or sandbags, pile on the earth, add two simple vents, and you have a storm shelter, a storage room, or a safe retreat that works in any crisis. It's survival architecture without the bunker price tag and without the bunker problems. The genius of the earth arch shelter isn't the design, it's the philosophy. Survival isn't about building fortresses, it's about understanding the world around you and using nature's oldest tools to create safety where none existed. The Cold War may be over, but the lessons it taught us are still buried in the soil. Sometimes the smartest survival strategy isn't high-tech at all. Sometimes it's just earth, air, and human ingenuity.